everyone, I'm Lori Ellison and this is Lucky Ellison. And today we're gonna to teach you how to post a payroll journal entry in QuickBooks Online for a medical practice. All right, let's get started. Okay guys, so we're gonna look here and I'm gonna show you the chart of accounts and what we're doing here is we're looking into um, posting a medical journal entry for payroll. And I'm just gonna show you how to do things in you know a way that'll work better for tracking your payroll expenses for a medical practice. So you can see in here, we have a bunch of liability accounts. So I would recommend just using paychecks or ADP so you don't have to worry about posting that kind of um, payroll journal entry. It's much simpler doing it a different way um, where you don't have any of that. So what we're looking at here is posting um, your journal entry and having different codes for payroll uh, depending on the owner or the um, different providers, and then things such as your nurses, your front desk people, and your biller. So right here, we're looking at um, the different codes I've created. You're gonna have a chart of accounts you can download to follow this, um, but this is like a sub, these are sub accounts of the payroll wages, and this will help you um, track how you're spending things in your um, practice. The other thing we're going to do is just use a simple code for payroll taxes. You'll see it right there. Okay, here is my payroll journal report that I'm going to kind of show you and you're going to be able to download. And this is really important. You're going to learn how to use these and read them. Um, but this is showing your normal wages for each employee, how much they had withheld, how much payroll tax is costing the company, and how much health insurance withholding they had, and then what their net check is. These are important things to have figured out and, and kind of deciphered before you go and put this into your QuickBooks. You might also want to think about doing a journal entry in Excel, and I'm going to have one for a download just to be able to follow along and understand where your debits and your credits sit in this process. Okay, I'm going to show you the journal entry. I've already made it. So follow along with the download I'm attaching at the bottom, and I'll also show, try and show you split screen. But you can see that each entry is now posted to such as um, the owners payroll, physician payroll, um, nursing payroll, administrative, and billing. And you'll notice that all of these are on the debit side and on the left side. You'll see on the right hand side is how much we are um, having go out of our checking accounts and then also a credit on the health insurance. And notice that both two columns must match. So the main thing is you want to make sure that your totals from your payroll report, you know, match what you're entering on your journal entry. So you're going to double check your line items for your gross wages. And then in this piece for the payroll tax, I actually did two different line items instead of what it says on the journal, which is just the total. But you're going to have the same amount. It's going to, the two amounts are going to match your one line item on your total. The other thing generally on payroll reports is there's usually two um, withdrawals, one for your taxes and one for your direct deposits. 
So when you're reading your paychecks or ADP report, it's going to have usually show you two withdrawals. And then the other thing that's going to be on the credit side is anything you've withheld from the employee for health insurance, dental insurance, optical, 401k, and so forth. And so you'll need to make sure you have withholding accounts or liability accounts for those. And then you will post those later. Now let's talk about writing a check to your medical insurance company so that you can wipe out that liability from what you withheld from your employees payroll checks. And this is where when you're writing checks you wouldn't want to overstate and say that entire amount was all the expense of the employer because you have to this is how you factor in the money you've taken out of their payroll and it's the contribution of the employee. Now we're going to talk recurring transactions. Sorry, I screwed up my editing, but here we go. This recurring transaction is something I set up before and where I took a journal entry that I had already done and then I overwrote the journal entry with pennies so that the next time I get a journal entry I can um, I don't have to spend all that work figuring out all of the different entries. So you would just go to the gear icon to do that. And you would have to be in the journal entry and click Memorize. And here now I'm showing how you make it recurring. So you're in an existing journal entry. You would have to name the template make it unscheduled, and then override all your entries with pennies. This way you won't have to remember each time which side is the debit and which side is the credit. Some people's amounts change because they're hourly, so their wage will never be exactly the same. But if you have some that are always the same and they're salaried, I would leave those without pennies and with the correct amount. And then there at the bottom right, you would click Save Template. Now go to the gear icon on the top right, like I am now. Click Recurring Transactions. And there it is. That new one on the top is the one I just showed you how to use. So you'd click Use, and then you would input over those pennies with the actual amounts of your payroll journal entry and then you would do save and close and then that would post. Now I'm running a profit and loss to show you how you can tell the difference between how much your payroll is really costing you and why this is such a so much better way because you really need to know how much your providers are costing you and then your overhead which is your front desk, administrative assistance and your biller. And you want to make sure that the front desk payroll and the billing payroll does not get out of hand because that is straight overhead. Whereas your nurse practitioners and other physicians, they are actually generating money. So it's not overhead. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful. Please leave me any comments or video requests. Have a great day.